Okay. Okay. Bah. I stand before you today blindfolded to draw attention to what is probably the most alarming thing about the TPP. And that is that all of us were left completely in the dark, the public, our elected officials down in Washington, D.C., while the world's biggest corporations sat in secret to negotiate the TPP. This was a clever industry tactic as they knew how the public would feel about a trade agreement that would give them more power over our consumer and environmental protections. In America, and especially here in Maine, we don't take too well to having our sovereignty eroded. Maine, make no doubt about it, if we allow Congress to pass the TPP, the U.S. and all the other countries in the TPP will be doing just that, eroding their sovereignty. As a member of 350 Maine, I want to share a few reasons why the TPP is so concerning regarding the environment. First, in its over 6,000 pages, which the public just got to see in November, the word climate change, global warming, is not mentioned once. With all the work the international community is currently doing to address climate change, including the great work that just came out of Paris, it's amazing to think that such a huge document would not address today's most pressing environmental issue. Looking at what has been happening around the world in recent years, it's no surprise that those allowed at the table when the TPP was written made sure that it offered every opportunity to weaken consumer and environmental protections. Recent trade agreements, like NAFTA, allow corporations to sue governments when regulations hurt their profitability. And these cases are handled outside our traditional judicial systems in what's called ICE-DIS, Investor State Dispute Settlement, where a tribunal of three lawyers arbitrate the case. The number of cases like this has seen a sharp uptick. In 1996, only 38 known cases were handled that way. By 2011, 450 corporations were suing governments using ICE-DIS. In recent news, President Obama rejected the Keystone XL pipeline, recognizing it had an enormous climate impact as well as other environmental implications, creating a giant conduit of Alberta terror sands to simply travel across our entire country for export. Well, TransCanada didn't like that decision, and in fact is now telling the U.S. that we had no right to stop an international company from building this pipeline. And they are now suing the U.S. government for $15 billion in lost profits. In this case, not in our judicial system, but through the ISDS. To be fair, companies in America are in on this game, too. The government of Ontario had created this really great, successful green jobs program that had incentivized um, the solar and wind power generating companies and also asking them to get their products locally when they built such systems. Within two years, 20,000 jobs, green jobs, were created in Ontario. And more than 4,600 megawatts of renewable energy had been contracted to be built. Well, the U.S.-based corporation Mesa Power Group didn't like that very much. And using NAFTA and its bi-local stipulations, they are suing Ontario to the tune of $746 million for creating a green jobs program. If the TPP were passed, it would expand these corporate rights more than any past trade agreement by extending them to more than 9,000 additional foreign-owned firms. The TPP also scarily locks us into a future where the business-as-usual model of digging for and burning fossil fuels will not only continue, but it's actually mandated to be expedited. In other words, the TPP literally requires the U.S. Department of Energy to automatically approve all LNG exports. You heard me correct. They are mandated to approve everything. Here in Maine, as we see the health of our economically and environmentally important Gulf of Maine deteriorate before our very eyes from climate change, we know such a mandate is nothing but a giant present to the oil and gas industry. This demand is coming at a time when we're learning more and more about the problems associated with natural gas production. From well to wheel, we're seeing methane leaking at an alarming rate. In Porter Ranch, California right now, we're currently witnessing a huge environmental disaster where once again, 
Industry has created a leak it cannot stop. This massive leak of methane has been going on now for over two months. And when I say massive, the amount of methane that's coming out of Porter Ranch, California equals all the other methane emissions in the entire state, including all of the gas and oil industry. So let's not allow ourselves to be blindsided about, blindsided about what the TPP really is. It's bad for all of us, it's bad for business here in Maine, and it's bad for the environment. Please pick up your phone today and call your folks down in D.C. and tell them to vote no on the TPP. Thank you.